and gentlemen, this is our last show this season, Encompass. You don't want to miss out. There's lots in store for you. Enjoy. and I'm a visual artist with Raw Artists. I got a job as an art director in advertising and all through that time I was also painting and I had an online gallery called Pop Art Gallery where I would I posted paintings of sort of pop-up portraits that were kind of ironic. So I sort of continued my art until I moved to the US in 2000. And I took an oil painting course at the Corcoran because I really wanted to learn oil painting because obviously studying fashion I didn't learn oils. And I got myself a studio and started painting in about 2000. And that was when I sort of really went full time with my art career and exploring the sort of whole notion of femininity. And initially using a rose, I started by painting roses and I used the rose as a, as a anagram or as a metaphor for feminine, for feminine self. And then deconstructing it and then breaking it apart. And even when it was very abstracted and broken apart, you could still tell it was a rose. So it sort of became like a, it was such a cliched icon that you could deconstruct it. And then I started to add things like the thorns and embrace the thorns as much as the flower. And the, the notion that, you know, there are so many elements to femininity that should be embraced. Like, you know, a rose is so beautiful apart from its thorns. Well, what's wrong with the thorns? That's a protection element. Actually, that makes you empowered. And I read a lot of like Camille Paglia when I was at college and you know the whole notion that give a girl a gun and she's as powerful as a man. So then I started this whole Guns and Roses theme. <laughs> and so I had, I, and I created for um, the Anacostia Cherry Blast Festival for Philippa Hughes' Cherry Blast Party, a big gun that was shooting cherry blossoms. And, the, and it was very controversial being in Anacostia because it was such a violent neighborhood. But the fact that it was a toy gun, a pink toy gun shooting blossoms, and then the byline was if bullets were, if bullets were blossoms. So it's sort of the notion of attacking with love and motherhood became a very sort of big part of what I was saying as, as a woman and about sort of approaching situations in a loving way and using loving kindness as a tool. So, so there was that element. Please check out my website, which is www.emmaorourke.com. That's E-M-M-A-O-R-O-U-R-K-E.com. Hi, my name is Emma Goodman, and I'm a raw artist.